Okay, welcome back to another video guys. In this video I'm going to do some modeling. I'm going to put some dynamic objects into our scene because all we've done so far is the terrain. So we've got no objects in the terrain. It looks a bit boring, a bit dull. So um, let me just show you what I'm going to model. Uh, if I ex expand this, that's the one. I want to model this object. Now you might be thinking it's very dynamic. It looks a bit hard to model with all these weird shapes. but how I deal with this guys, you need to start off with very primitive objects and then go from there. So that's a sphere, this is a cylinder, that's a cylinder. And then we can easily do this I think. So uh, I haven't really planned out this tutorial so we'll see where it goes. <laughs> all right. um, it's up, if it's up, if you're watching it now it's uh, it's alright so <laughs> you can keep watching. So in Maya the first thing I'm going to do is to go into my settings change our units to meters so we can import it into unity easier alright guys so always keep that in mind when we export it it will be the same scale as our character so it won't be hard to edit whoops let's get rid of that um, so the first thing I want to do is go into a top viewport and import the image I just showed you as an image plane uh, let's, where is it I think it's this one yeah that's the one alright guys so straight away um, I always move this down a little bit because if we go to create polygon or do some tools they'll get created right on the grid so at point zero which is also where the image planes at so it will hide it and gets into a lot of problems but okay so let's start off with modeling this cylinder uh, so let's select a cylinder go to a smooth shade all and in object mode. Uh, let's rotate it 90 degrees so it's facing the right way and let's go to a uh, top view. Okay so let's first put firstly put it into place so. and the other thing it's way too detailed I just want about six subdivisions it'll be nice to edit as well try and keep things as small as possible polygon wise uh, so Let's just drag this up like that. Yeah, that I do I think. So let's stop it where it gets thicker. So, okay, that do. So let's go into a uh, perspective frame up on this. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, get rid of these arrows for a start. Um, if you want to get rid of the pivot points, guys, press Q. And they get really annoying sometimes when you're doing small things. Um, actually let's deselect everything first, go to a face select these and I want to extrude so with that let's go back into a top view and extrude these out so let's zoom in so we can see let's just uh, spread them out a bit and again extrude so that's what I want to do guys in this case uh, extrude and spread them out a bit so let's keep doing it, let's bring this one up a bit and rotate it, let's scale it in all directions um, move it into place so as simple as that let's quickly do this, Oop, don't do that um, extrude face uh, so let's move this out Let's move this in and uh, for the last one, move this in a bit. So, uh, one more. Okay, that do. So, now I'm just going to go through the um, edge loops if I can. Select, select edge, select the loop, and uh, just move it into place a little bit more. Select this one, let's move it into place. This one's a bit big actually. Let's make it bit smaller drag this one out a bit more okay let's just do this one a bit bigger so the shape's pretty nice now so let's see what we've done um, back into his perspective so that's our shape that's our um, plant shape it looks pretty nice already let's just go around and see if it looks alright the end is mm, the end is a bit dodgy, but um, let's bring this down a bit. Bring this one down a bit. 
yeah, so, ah, oh, that's actually intercepting the image plane, so, okay, that looks alright, let's just grab this vertex and uh, curve snap it, if you want to curve su su uh, snap something, guys, hold C and middle mouse drag on the edge you want to snap it to, so, I wanted to do it in all directions, so, uh, snap it to the middle, so as you can see, it looks pretty nice already, so we might want to tidy uh, things up a bit. I think that's sticking out too much. Uh, let's bring these down a little bit. I think it was that one, so yeah. Tidy up the vertices a little bit. Alright, that looks alright. Let's check our normals. They look alright. These We could always um, try and smooth these out normal soften edge and they're sticking out too much again so let's go let's just edit it from here yeah that looks alright because the leaves are so dynamic guys don't worry about getting the shape perfect as long as it looks alright let's make the shape a bit better okay so we could actually move that one up a bit all right, that looks all right actually. So, uh, what's going on here? Let's try and move this out of the way. Okay, that looks better. So let's just curve snap it a little bit. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, that looks all right. So let's just move these up. Okay, so uh, don't worry about these normal issues, guys, because when we come to texturing this out, you won't, you won't be able to see them at all. So um, let's just grab these and bring them in a bit. All right, that looks better. So nice and smooth, like a real leaf. <laughs> well, this one looks a bit dead, but um, the shape's nice. So, and we haven't got many polygons as well. So. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, model out this bit. So let's just create another cylinder, rotate it 90 degrees, and put it into place. Doesn't have to be too big at all. Um, let's make this six again. Okay. Actually, I'm just going to bring us right to the top and edit from here. So, what I want to do is join this stem up with the main stem. So, to do that, I'm just going to go into perspective. Um, deselect, go to a face, and this time, just select all of these. Let's extrude it out. So. Be easy to do this in a top view. Extrude it out again. Curve it around. Rotate it. Boom, and that looks like it's joined on pretty nicely. Let's double check. Um, if you want to change the pivot points location, guys, press D and drag it. Drag it basically wherever you want. I just want to drag it in the middle so it's easier. Oh, let's go into a um, object mode <laughs> and uh, okay, so it's basically almost joined up. So let's just drag these vertices a bit and um, I just want to select. Ah, oh, let's just go into an object and deselect everything and then select these again. Um, normal soften edge. Let's soften out the edges. Go into a uh, vertex. We'll select the wrong one again um, into a vertex mode and I'm just going to bring these down a bit so nothing's intercepting so uh, look a bit nicer and this joins on there so let's have a look we can actually make this a bit thinner so okay that looks good 
and as you can see it's joined on pretty well so that looks alright and the last thing guys is this sphere object the actual plants or the seeds let's just drag out a sphere simple as that and 20 is a bit much let's go down to uh, 15 maybe I want to be quite detailed in the scene so and it'll soften out the edges okay I think that's that'll do actually let's bring it up and our plant looks pretty nice so uh, what looks like a complicated object to begin with can easily be modeled guys so I'm gonna call this leaves or just leaf actually there's only one leaf in it so uh, this can be called stem and this can be called uh, seed so uh, in real life guys these are very small as you can see so um, I want to be a bit more adventurous in this scene I'm gonna make them pretty big in the next video make it look nice so so we can texture map it add some nice textures so let's select all of these and file export selection I'm in my project models folder let's just call it plant one and export back into unity and let's have a look shall we and uh, it's very very big so let's delete this let's go into Maya again alright so now we need to group the objects uh, I want to make this much smaller guys so if I try and make things smaller separately um, and scale down <laughs> they kind of detach from each other they scale down from their own points so what we need to do is just go to edit group okay and then we can scale it right down right right down like that alright and uh, let's go to edit ungroup so simple as that actually we can keep it grouped, I think we should keep it grouped because we finished modeling uh, so let's go to file export selection plant one again so let's go back into unity let's go to our mountain range project plant one, let's see what it's like so it's still pretty big uh, I'm just going to make it smaller actually I should have kept the Maya units in centimeters because we used the image plane which is very big we had to make model the objects very big as, as well so uh, let's rotate this in the Z 90 degrees so it's facing up and uh, it looks pretty nice I think so let's just walk around it see what it looks like okay so it's got a nice shadow um, yeah that won't look so dodgy when we've got a texture to it and let's go around see if there's any problems looks alright actually so okay let's leave the video there let's let's texture it in the next video so in this video we've modeled out this kind of complex object <laughs> alright so anything is with dynamic object guys like plants or animals or um, anything organic really very complicated uh, shapes so you don't have to be perfect just make it look good I think this looks pretty good so in the next video we'll texture it so um, that's a very hard edge let's just um, the last thing I'm going to do in this video guys is just soften out this edge so if you want to skip go ahead alright let's see what that does looks a bit nicer so alright again export selection plant one boom yeah it looks nicer a bit smoother alright guys so in the next video let's um, I might add some more detail to this bit but we'll see but um, alright let's stop it there thanks for watching the video guys I hope you learned something with modeling today I'll see you in the next video